Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is going to be about making shades of gray that you could use for possibly 3D. Over the last couple of weeks, I've had people ask me when I'm making 3D, and you know, you we have white and black, and then nine steps in between it to make our colors of gray. Well, I don't know when Corel started, but there's actually 256 shades of gray that you could open. Well, that's a bit overwhelming for most of us. I mean, there's 256 shades. Now, somebody that knows how to really draw in 3D, maybe it's gonna help them, but I think it's overwhelming. And I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna close that palette. I'm gonna show you how to make 60 shades of gray. Let's take a rectangle, make two of them, Control D and make a duplicate. Doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna hold down the Control button. I'm gonna make this one white. I'm gonna make this one black. I'm gonna grab my blend tool. I can actually use this blend down here and blend from there to there and change this to 60. Now I'm gonna take away our white, our red line. Now you have 60 shades of gray. You need to go to object, break blend apart, object, group and ungroup, then you've got 62 objects because we had two to start with. We're gonna go to Windows, Palette, Create Palette from Selection because I've got them selection. I'm gonna name it gray. You can name it whatever you want. Now we have 60 shades of gray. And if you don't think they're working, let's draw some boxes. Control D and make a duplicate. And we're gonna do this twice. We're gonna, we're gonna add shades of gray. First of all, we're gonna add it with our normal color palette. So we're gonna go the first gray, second gray, third gray, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now let's do it with our new color palette. This one should be white, so we're gonna go the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. Look at the difference. We're on the same step but every one of them is lighter than the one before, and this is a lot more. So you've got a much more now. To most people, and even myself, I don't know how people draw in 3D like they do, but they, they've got to have 256 shades of gray. I'm gonna hopefully start using this, and this is a kind of a big deal when you are doing 3D. Let's, uh, let's draw a rectangle. We have to make the outside something other than a hairline. I don't use inches, I'm using somebody else's. I use points. We're gonna go a half a point and we're gonna use the eyedropper tool. See, we can't move this out of the way. We're gonna use the eyedropper tool on our first shade of gray. And see here you see all the other ones. Now we're okay. We can't even see it. We're gonna, we're gonna grab it, we're gonna go to effects, and we're gonna go to contour, we're gonna contour to the inside, 0 .001 to black, to the inside, and you see the steps go away. This is a lot better than if you start with a white, because if you butt these up next to each other, so this is nine point. 083, let's make our nudge factor 9.083. If you would do this, if you use white, this will be white between there. And here you've got a light gray. This is a really cool 3D for the first time. I actually do them and then reverse this, you know, step this over another one and make a new one that actually starts out with black and goes to white. So you've got Looks like this go, and this will actually engrave down, and the other one will engrave up. 
So I hope that I hope that helped those couple people, and thank you for watching.